in today's event, it's a one pot method of making methamphetamine. It's very, very dangerous, very volatile. What looks like a bottle of soda is in fact a dangerous mixture of chemicals used to make meth. It was found in the woods across the street from Groveton High School when a science class was learning about tree identification. At first, the students and their teacher dismissed it as trash until they noticed something off about the contents. And in this event, it was active and it was actually swirling around and bubbling and, and, and uh, expanding and contracting. And that's a problem. She and the students brought it into the building thinking that it was important to secure it so that students walking home in the afternoon wouldn't come across it. She had no idea of its volatility. Principal Lisa Paris says they immediately brought the bottle back outside and called state police. When they arrived, the bottle was on fire. The clandestine lab team from the DEA safely disposed of the materials. Luckily, no one was hurt, but Paris says this calls for an immediate education program. It was a scary thought, and uh, I think our immediate reaction after we secured their safety was that uh, this is an area that students walk through daily, um, and if they found it once, there could be more. Parents were notified, and students and teachers were taught what to look out for and to call police if they see anything suspicious. Anybody that was in the area uh, is in danger, and that's why it's so important for the public. If you see something like this, back away and call somebody. Well, the DEA says the meth problem is growing across the state, specifically in the North Country. No arrests have been made in this case. Anyone with information is asked to call state police. Live in studio, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9.